Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Best Quotes. I really appreciate if you subscribed. So in this uh, episode, we'll be talking about a quote uh, from someone known as Malcolm X. Forbes. So in this quote, he said that ability will never catch up with the demand for it. And this is so, so true. Now. In this particular episode, I'll be interchanging the ability with talent, with skills, you know, and everything that has to do or that is related to it so that I can be able to flow easily. So when you talk about ability not being able to catch up with the demand for it, this is very, very true in our world today. Although some people still have a misconstrued view of how the world works or how talent works out there, and so they keep thinking that maybe we have too much of this and too much of that and forgetting that the population of the world is continuously increasing as at this time the estimation is around 7 billion plus people in the world but you can imagine what it was last year what it was you know two years back and what it will be next year it's a continuously increasing number so as long as that number continues to increase, the demand for talents, demand for skills, the demand for ability would continue to be there. So never if for once think that we have too much singers. You know, like you think about musicians, you say we have a lot of musicians out there. When someone is talking about starting a career in music, you might want to discourage them and be like, there are a lot of musicians out there and they are killing it, they are very popular. How do you think you are going to make it in, a, in an industry that is so packed up like this? Or take for example, you are, in, you are an athlete and you'll be like, how is someone going to make it coming into the, into the game with so much talent that we have out there? But the truth is that no matter how many talent you think we have out there, no matter how many people you think are very good out there, there is still opportunity for new people to come in, just like in business. You talk about someone trying to start a clothing brand and then you'll be asking how do you want to survive in this business when there are thousands of clothing brand businesses out there and the big ones out there making a lot of money the high-end brand the luxury brand the gucci and the rest of them or even the ones that are not that expensive but are still very very affordable and good look at the fashion overs that turn that, that turn around billion no not billions sorry or at least millions that turn around millions I can't say billions for now because I'm not sure of that number, but at least they turn around millions annually. And then a lot of other self-employed guys, a lot of other entrepreneurs, those doing print on demand, those doing different kind of printing, having their shirts out there. And then look at the influencers, the Kylie Jenners of this world, look at the Kim Kardashians, look at the rest of them throwing out fashion every single day and they're selling them millions. Kim Kardashian is worth billions right now. But yet, a little girl from a small city can come out and say she wants to go into the fashion business. She wants to go into makeup business. And if you are not careful, you see someone telling her, why are you wasting your time going into that field? Because we already have a lot of successful people in that field. But the truth is that there will, be all, there will always be need for whatever thing you have to sell. So if you are going to business or if you have a talent that you want to explore, never you think of was that you will not get customers. Never you think for one that you will not get listeners. Never you think for one that you will not get those that will appreciate what you got. Because there will always be customers. There will always be people that are ready to listen to you, to patronize you, and to engage with you. Because this whole thing boils down to personality. And that is why, you know, when you listen to or when you go to seminars about businesses and uh, especially like social media influencing, there's this key thing they talk about, which is adding a personality to whatever thing you're doing so when you have a bit of your personality in whatever business and whatever talent you have you add a personality to it it gives it more credibility it makes it unique to you you have people get it wrong is that when they want to do exactly what someone else is doing when they want to replicate someone else's business using their business model using their strategy their personality and everything that is how they fail but when you come out in your own unique way I bet you, you are going to see those that are going to listen to you. You are going to see those that are, that are going to be like, okay, well, I've had enough of this variant. I want a new variant. <laughs> and by this, I'm not, you know, I'm just trying to use that word. So, no matter how you think 
we have a lot of talented artists out there. No matter how you think, we have a lot of businesses out there. There is still space for it. It is never, never enough. New guys are going into dropshipping today and they are still raking in thousands, thousands of dollars. New guys are going into acting today and they are still becoming famous. New guys are going into music today. I mean, just between last year and this year, if I tell you, if I begin to list out how many guys I know that have actually risen up in the music industry just within a short period of one year, a lot of them. And this is not to say that everybody's going to make it or everybody's going to become successful when they go into the business or into or they try to explore whatever talent they have. No, a lot of people are going to fail, but that doesn't mean that there is no demand for it. It means maybe they didn't add their, their personality to it, they didn't promote their, their, you know, their skill or whatever thing they are doing, or they didn't engage with people enough. But that doesn't mean that there is no demand for it. I hope this is making sense because someone listening to this might be like, okay, and I keep using this music and business, you know, because they are much more relative, but I hope it doesn't seem as if I'm using music a lot. But of course, I love music and I believe a lot of people, uh, you know, listen to music as well. So it will be easy for people to relate to it when I use music. Because look at the OGs. Take, for example, the American scenery, the OGs that we have in the music industry are still doing great, still making sales. While the new guys coming up, the youngins coming up are also still making sales. And the youngins that are going to come up next year, the ones that are coming out today, they are still going to make sales. They are still going to be popular. They are still going to become influencers. They are still going to sell out shows. That is because no matter who you are, no matter at what time you get into a business or you get into a space, you can still make a killing for it. You just have to be unique because unique makes you different from the rest of the people and that is how you get your audience and that is why when i saw this post when i read it i'd be like this actually makes a lot of sense talent will never match up it will never meet up with the demand there is demand for guys who are smart in different areas computer programming for example there is demand for it that is why guys from third world countries are getting jobs in first world countries guys in africa are getting work in europe they are getting work in the US. Why? Because there is demand for it. And, you, and, and that should surprise you because, I mean, take for example the UK, where you have sophisticated guys, educated and all of that, but yet the, the, the firms over there are sourcing for talents even in Africa. A lot of guys are moving from Africa though, down to U, UK on a steady. So there is always demand for something that if you are not just positioned in the position in the place whereby you will be seen that you can start thinking maybe oh i have the skills oh i do this people don't recognize it uh the market is saturated uh, no the market is only saturated to those who don't know how to market to it if you don't know how to move in that market then it will be saturated for you some people are in a business or in a particular niche for 10 years and they are not doing so well as someone that came in just a year before because the person that came in came in with his own touch. The person that came in came with his own way. He knows how to maneuver in the industry. And he's killing it. Why some people are there 10 years and they are still complaining that the market is saturated. So it's not about market being saturated. It's not it's about you not positioning yourself well. It's about you not taking up the opportunities that are available. It's about you not actually going out there and making sure that your skill is seen and that whatever thing you have, your ability you have is being appreciated by others. Your personality has been experienced because people buy experience these days. It's not about a product anymore, even. I mean, that should be a topic for another day. People actually buy experiences, and experiences come from personality. The touch you add to it. How do you make the person feel when they when they patronize you or when they, you know, try to patronize your craft? That sets you apart from the crowd. So that's what I see when I you know. That's the way I can interpret this quote, and I hope it does make sense. Uh, please let me know what you think. I need your feedback on this. And uh, if you are listening to this on podcast, I really, really appreciate uh, whatever platform you are listening to. Just make sure that you are following so that you get new ones whenever I drop them. And if you have the time, please do check it out on YouTube also. I have it on YouTube. And thank you guys for you know being there and supporting.